Good morning, everyone. This is Al Rodi. This is 8 for 8. It's a beautiful day in downtown Brookside, Nova Scotia. Um, my new and wonderful countryside home with the lake and and uh, the dogs and the cats and the wonderful roommates. And I'm just so grateful to be here and be alive. I had an amazing weekend workshop in St. Don, New Brunswick, and I'm so grateful to all of you who were there. So thank you for that. Um, and thank you for your positive comments and feedback. I'm grateful for that. Today I want to talk about eye contact. I notice that when I'm walking around lately as I'm kind of living with my newfound joy, my newfound love of life, my newfound joy, um, love of all humanity, that one of the things that's happening to me is that babies seem to stare at me wherever I go. And I really love babies and so I always try and get their attention and I, I've been known to do some goofy things and um, uh, to get a baby's attention but lately it seems like they're noticing me before I'm noticing them. Mosquito just uh, went to the other side. Um, and, um, and I'm really grateful for that and, and so a baby will look at me and, and from a long distance away and I'll and I'll make eye contact with that baby and we'll just kind of gaze deeply into each other's eyes and a baby's eyes are so open and trusting and loving and, and um, of course for a lot of us we were all like that when we started out as babies most of us and then and then things happen in our lives and our eye contact our communication with others um, is guarded somehow and and fearful perhaps and uh, perhaps there's anger within us that projects outward toward other people or perhaps we're afraid of people kind of entering the windows of our soul and seeing who we truly are and so a lot of times I, I think this was really true for me that that in conversation I would find and still do to some degree find that I would sort of speak without looking into someone's eyes or making really good clear eye contact and I used to notice that um, I wasn't really happy about the way I felt about that and it turned out to be for me a kind of a lack of confidence about who am I truly about projecting myself in an honest and straightforward and honorable way in a loving way um, I was disconnecting my eyes from the eyes of whoever I was communicating with and I find lately and it has you know it relates to the way babies are looking at me now I find lately that because I'm just loving you that I feel confident to love you just for who you are and to make eye contact and it feels normal and natural for me whereas I used to have to kind of work at maintaining eye contact so it seems to me that maybe some of you have these same feelings and I thought maybe we could do a little tapping around that. So I'm just going to do a little tapping around now and you can follow along and tap along with me. And if the language doesn't exactly speak to you, that's okay. You can stop the tape and create language of your own and tap along with different language. That's okay too. So even though I find it hard for me to make eye contact, I love and accept myself deeply and completely. Perhaps I'm afraid for others to see all of the negativity that I feel about myself. Oh well, I love and accept myself just the way I am. Perhaps I'm afraid of my anger or my fear or my lack of self-confidence. Oh well. I can make eye contact in a loving manner with anyone I choose. Top of the head. Even though I'm afraid to make eye contact at times, I love and accept myself deeply and completely. Even though I may be afraid to be seen, to be truly heard for those negative ideas that I hold about myself in my subconscious. I know that's a long one. Even though I may be afraid to be seen, even though I may be 
nervous about what others will see if I look into their eyes. What if I just love you enough to look deeply into your eyes and love you just the way you are, to see all of you and know that you are one of God's children? What if I choose to look at you as divine energy, as a divine being, perfect in every way? I love and accept myself deeply and completely. Okay. Um, take a little deep breath, or a big deep breath. Just notice if that feels any different. Uh, might make the statement, well, I'm afraid to look in the eyes of others, or I'm afraid if others look into my eyes what they will see, that I'll be called out or noticed somehow. I'm tapping on the karate chop point even though I'm afraid to be noticed, perhaps, or that people will see me and not like what they see. Oh well, I love and accept myself deeply and completely. Perhaps as I judge myself, I'm afraid others are judging me constantly and continuously. Oh well. I love and accept all of God's children as perfect, including myself. That was then, and this is now. And now begins a new moment. Now I am allowed to gaze in the eyes of others and know that there is perfect love and acceptance, perfect allowing of who you are from a divine point of view top of the head. I choose to be confident and filled with peace and joy as I gaze in the eyes of others. I choose to be confident and filled with peace and joy as I allow others to gaze into my eyes. I used to be nervous about that. What will they see? Will they see what I think is wrong with me? Is it just my idea? Oh well. I love and accept myself just the way I am. I love and accept all of God's children just the, li just the way we are. That was then, and this is now, and today's a new day, and today's a new day. And I open my eyes to the universe, I open my eyes to my fellow human beings, and I say, I love you, 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 I'm sorry, please forgive me, and thank you. You know, I want to tell a little story at the end of this tapping round. On When I was driving from Halifax to St. John, it's about a four and a half, five hour drive. And uh, I was driving along and I started, um, just for fun, I started making eye contact with everybody that I drove by on the highway. This is why I'm writing this article one of the reasons. And I started, you know, people will look at you as you drive by them. And I would just silently say in my head, I love you. And it felt amazing to do that. It was just like, as the person made eye contact with me, I just put a little smile on and say, I love you. Not out loud. I didn't even mouth it so someone would think I was saying anything. I just said it in my heart and sent it to them energetically. And I have to tell you, it felt really amazing. So I encourage you to try that rather than get all frustrated in traffic while you're driving around see how many people you can engage make eye contact with and just say i love you have a great week this is al rodi stay close to your spirit work less accomplish more i love you i'm sorry please forgive me and thank you bye <laughs>